Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the many climaxes tonight. He's the first. John Emerson, US ambassador to Germany, great friend of Germany. He knows more about Germany than many Germans, I can tell you. He loves this country. He loves his country. And we, he'll, we will fever with us tonight to the results. John, a very warm welcome. And thank you for coming. And thank you for addressing this outstanding crowd tonight. Floor is yours. Thank you, Rudy. Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? You having a good time? Who's going to stay up with me till 5 in the morning to see how this thing ends? All right. I like that. Well, I'll tell you what, everybody says, oh, you've been involved in politics for decades and decades, every presidential race since 1980, you ran a couple, you must know who's going to win. And I do know who's going to win. The person who gets 270 electoral votes or more, that's who's going to win. And so what that means is we're going to start watching very carefully, starting at 1 a.m., when the first polls close in the United States. And there's several states, Virginia, North Carolina, New Hampshire, um, and, and Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and Michigan, and of course, Florida, that we're gonna wanna keep a very close eye on as those numbers begin to come, uh, as the votes begin to get tallied over the course of uh, tonight. So I would say, what you want to do is you want to watch for what's happening in those states. You want to look at states that either Donald Trump should win or Hillary Clinton should win and see how quickly they get called. If a state that one of them should win doesn't get called for a long, long time, that means it's good news for the other candidate. So th those are the kind of nuances that you want to watch as these election results roll in. But it may be that we don't know who the winner is until 6 o'clock this morning. In 2000, with Al Gore and George Bush, we didn't know who the winner was for five weeks until the Supreme Court acted. So, you know, who knows? I'm not sure this will be that kind of night. Uh, the fact is... Five out of our last six presidential elections have been very, very close, so we're used to this. But uh, it will be, a, I think, a ten tense-filled night, and what I can guarantee you is there are going to be some surprises, and there are going to be some ups and downs. And what I can also guarantee you is that regardless of who the next president is, there will be very few relationships that will be more important to that president than the relationship with Germany. Because Germany and the United States have become indispensable partners. And that does not change whether it's Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump as the president. So um, we will um, watch together tonight. We'll see what happens. I'll come out you know, periodically and comment on what's happening. But um, I wish you all a very good evening. And uh, I wish us all a good election. And I hope that we actually do get a clear result tonight. And then I think given how uh, bitter this campaign has really been in many respects, it'll be incumbent upon the victor and also the vanquished to do everything they can after the campaign is over to try to help heal our nation and try to help bring it together. And I think that you will see whoever wins this race that they will, or I hope you will see, that they will actually reach out and try to reach out to those who did not vote for them, did not support them, and to try to understand what their concerns are and govern in a way that helps to address those concerns as well as the concerns of those who supported them. I think that's going to be something very important uh, for uh, the United States and ultimately for our relationship. So with that, unless anybody has any questions or comments, I'm going to say thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your commitment to the German-American relationship which I know will not end tonight regardless of who the victor is. God bless.